Yoot is good, yo, it's your boy Time back here with another episode of our No Money Spent Squad series. I did go through and sell a couple of things last night. Not a ton of things, a couple of things to make a, a little bit of an impact as far as MT is concerned. Now, do have some things to open up because I have been playing some Triple Threat Online, which, I mean, Triple Threat Online, you guys can't see the, what you get out of them most of the time isn't super rewarding. But still, it's better than nothing, right? I mean, if you quick sell everything, it at least has some sort of value. But it's just annoying when you play Triple Threat Online and you don't have anything to show for it, right? I didn't get a Paul George, who I honestly was playing for, to really change the account around. But you do still get uh, some, you do somewhat get rewarded from playing the game in general. So you guys might be asking, are you heading back into Triple Threat Online today? Or what is your plan? There's only like 15 days, 12 days left of the season. And so, I mean, you're running out of time to really do much. So here's here's kind of my plan. Eventually, guys, the boards should get updated again. And let's just look when they get updated. It does say January 3rd. So uh, tomorrow or the next day, boards should get up, updated. And, and what does that mean for me? Well, that does mean that better rewards are coming, okay? That means Calvin Nat is coming to Triple Threat Online would really help my squad out they also are going to put deadlift strength probably back in triple threat offline so those rewards being back maybe i'll grind for calvin nat just a little bit and see if i can't make that happen so just something to kind of look at uh as today's episode we avoid triple threat online because i just i need a break from that and we go elsewhere but as we dive into our episode today, we're on the road to 90,000 subscribers. So make make sure y'all go and smash that subscribe button. The recent support has been crazy, especially during the entire year of 2021. And I mean, I, I got big goals uh, for this upcoming year. So I really do appreciate each and every one of you. But even at these like standard leap packs, it might not seem like a lot. But you guys saw like Festus Azili even sold for like 2,000 uh, for both of him. So... For every player you get, everything does hold some sort of value. And because I'm on PlayStation, I love PlayStation Plus award packs as well. I mean, I, I really do love the fact that I get these free packs that most of them hold at least some sort of value. So just seeing my collection kind of grow day by day, the Lucius Allen did sell for uh, 750 just the last night. So just all these gold players, even some Sapphires, contracts, they all add up. So now that we're through opening all those, we're going to go into what we're doing today. So today's episode, we're going to be using our tokens. There's no point of me saving up my tokens anymore. I'm going to use them on badges. So the question is, do I use them on silver or gold badges? My answer to that is, well, really depends on what you want to do. I mean, they both have their own things. Some silver badges go for more. Some gold badges go for more. So... This really depends on what type of mood you are in or what you're feeling. Now, again, some of these badges I'm going to get aren't going to go for too much, while others are going to probably sell for a decent amount. So I'm going to start with silver badges just because that's usually what I go to. Now, gold badges might be the better buy. It just really depends on what badge you get. Hopefully, you're, you're hoping for, you know, the limit list, those types of important badges. Space credit is probably not a great badge, uh, but you're hoping for some really good badges like handles for days that do sell for you know five thousand plus because there's some badges that do sell for a lot special delivery is not going to be one of them but you know we do have 71 or so tokens so what this episode's about just trying to make the most mt out of each and every one of these uh tokens and badge packs is the primary way to do so so dream shake i haven't gotten one good badge yet i mean i've, I've opened like five and every single one of these badges has been terrible but still we're going to go through and I'm going to show you guys after I open like three more, just where we're at MT wise. Because even if I don't make a ton of MT, it's just going to be a little by little kind of growth process. Pro Pogo stick might go for something that's a decent badge. But you're just hoping to really hit on one of these badges. Because if you don't hit on a badge, you're not going to be looking at that much MT. But you guys are just going to see kind of you go into here into badges. Let's just look at Pogo stick, for example. Probably not a ton. You know, 500 MT is probably what you're looking at. 400. Even if I get 100 MT for every single badge I get, or every single token I spend, and I have seven, uh, let's say 75 tokens, then you're looking at about 7,000 MT. So minimum, I mean, probably 7,000 MT. If I hit on a couple of badges, we're probably looking at a little bit more than that. But just no reason for me to hold my tokens when I need MT pretty badly. Ankle Breaker, for example, 
probably is a badge that's gonna sell for at least a little bit more uh, than some of these other ones that we have seen. Rhythm Shooter, not a very good badge right there. But the one thing I like about these is you can just lock them in, open them, and then they just go right into your collection. It's not like you have to spend a ton of time wasting your tokens or you know, like with the exchange, sometimes that can take a while. With this, it is super, super quick, and then we get Drop Stepper right there. I'm really, really hoping uh, that the NBA just kind of starts getting back to normal. I mean, it's cool seeing, you know, all these new players like Greg Monroe get another chance, you know, these, these players who otherwise wouldn't get a chance to play. But at the same time, it's like, I, I just want to see NBA get back to, to normal, watch the superstars go crazy. Because otherwise, it's, it's a battle of who can stay healthy or is going to make the playoffs and, and ultimately have a chance to win the championship. So... Just hoping for the best, especially come playoff time. Hopefully, health and safety protocols isn't, you know, a big uh, deterrent in who wins the NBA championship. But and I really haven't felt like I've pulled that many great badges so far. And so I, there's not really much to say outside of I'm still going to make a decent amount of MT. Minimum, guys, you're probably looking at 7,000 MT. Again, Max, you're probably looking, uh, if I pull a really good badge, you know, 15, 20,000 MT. Yes, we're going to land somewhere in the middle, probably right about that 10,000 MT mark, which 10,000 MT combined with all the MT I already have is a pretty uh, pretty good upgrade. I mean, it really is. There's the silver sniper. I don't know exactly what it goes for, but probably at least more than 1,000, and that is a really, really solid badge right there. Volume shooter. What do we got? Three more to open up here. The sniper, hey, that's a badge that you want to see. See what else we can pull here, Space Crit. I want like a handles for days, maybe like a limitless spot up just to end it off here. Two left, let's see what I do get here. Back down Punisher, pretty gross. Last badge from tokens right now. See what I do get. If I did this on my road to 250, which I have like 1500 tokens, you guys would be amazed at how much MT you could make. Probably like 150, 200,000 uh, MT from that. But let's just see like what Sniper goes for, for example. I mean. Maybe 6,000. You're probably looking at closer to like 4,000 when we do scroll all the way to the end. But even if I can get 4,000 out of Sniper, you're that's 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 a big deal for me. Like Silver Sniper, if I can get 4,000 MT out of that, that is a big deal for this account. Now, obviously, we have so many other badges to put up throughout the course of uh, today, tomorrow, whenever I put them up. But I just want to see what my most expensive badge that I got is going to go for. And here's what I'm talking about. If you can hit on badges, you can make a ton of MT. Whereas the other badges, I mean, you're still making some sort of MT, but Sniper, for example, if it sells for 57, that's 5,000 MT already. Mismatch Expert, another badge, you're looking at 3,000, 2,800, uh, 1,500. I'm just gonna try to get 1,450 out of it. Probably could get more, make some more out of it, but I'm just trying to grow this account slowly, man. Just start out from the bottom, Open, open using these tokens to really make some more MT. It's that simple. MT is not easy to get this year. So if I can do it any way possible, I will. I mean, I will. Just I'm just gonna look at each and every one of these, see what they all go for, and and just see if there's any like hidden badge that might end up selling for more than maybe I thought it would. Defensive leader looks like it's a decent badge right there. Space crater, 400. A lot of these badges are gonna go for like the likes of 400 MT, which just isn't great, but. At the end of the day, just gonna sell each and every one of these things to our uh, to our auctions and eventually get through and sell them at some point today. There's no point in me holding on to badges. My team right now, it's not great, right? But we're working towards it. It's getting solid enough. And I'm just gonna continue to probably play Triple Threat Online, maybe work in the draft mode a little bit in our next episode and just try to continue to make things happen. Because like I said, the first little bit of, 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 of kind of get, trying to get your account off the ground is the hardest part of it. I'm going to hop into a draft kind of game right now. Not, not a game, but a draft, the draft mode and just build my team. That's what I'm going to do right now. Just build my team because this is where we're going to go next. I do think the draft mode is one of the best ways to make MT in general. I really do. Now, obviously, the, the reward Andre Drummond isn't the best reward. But, I mean, I Carlos Boozer, Kuzma, as well as Buddy Heald. These are just cards I can add to my to my squad and, and have fun with it. And let's say I really like Kyle Kuzma, then I know I, I can add him right to my squad. Let's see. Okay, at least I got Jet Jason Terry right there. But this that, that's why I like the draft mode. You know, you get a chance to use some of the new cards, maybe fall in love with a card or two. 
and just see what you can get into. Shooting guard, I already got, I already got Buddy Heald, so it's not that big of a deal. Marcus Smart, yeah, my team is going to be souped. Marcus Smart at point guard. Then you got you got Buddy Heal at shooting guard. Then I already got Kuzma at small forward. Boozer at power forward is pretty solid as well. Let's see, Bernard King, like he'll probably never play for me, but I will take you. I just need one more good player in general. Just give me one more good player and I'll never complain to you, I promise. Okay. None of those guys are going to crack the lineup right there. One good center. I promise you, 2K. I'll never complain if you give me a good center right here. Bam. Mm, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Still a really good team all the way around. You did get the, the game for Christmas, or if you're just kind of wondering how to make MT, this is the series for you guys. So hopefully you guys continue to watch as I continue to try to give you guys tips and tricks to make your account as good as possible with being no money spent. You'll never see me spend money on this account. You'll never see me spend really more than two hours a day, max probably uh, an hour a day on this account. Next season, we'll see who the XP reward is. We'll see, you know, who the triple third online of domination, all those rewards are to see really where we start the next season. But for now, just trying to put get myself MT wise in the position to do what I need to do. It's going to wrap it up for our episode today, guys. Hopefully each and every one of you guys did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.